In this video, we're going to be looking at Link, not Link from the Zelda games. Although that's probably like a really bad joke I just told. Um, not Link from that. The link that you click on to go to a another part of your page or a whole entire website altogether. They're very, very common. Um, you haven't been playing HTML, so of course Shocker needs their own. So we're going to look at that in the docs. And then we're going to go look at the coding example I have for y'all. So let's go ahead and get to reading. And so it says right here for Link. Links are accessible elements used primarily for navigation. This component is styled to resemble a hyperlink and semantically renders an A tag right here. So we come down here and we see that we have a regular link and then we have another external link icon that you could bring in as well. And this is an icon. So keep in mind here that if you pull an external link icon from the forge slash react here, it's not going to work. So just keep that in mind and, you know, just click copy here and dump it into your project. So we have this link right here. Let's click it. It doesn't really do anything probably because it's a dead link. But we have link, we have Shocker UI, and when you hover over it, we see in fact it's got that traditional underline kind of feel and vibe to it. But here we have this, and we have the href here telling us where to go, and it says is external. So what do you think this is going to do? It's going to send us externally, make us jump out of our website into another website. And so what we have right here is the external link icon that I referenced above. And this is that little square with the arrow popping out of it showing that, hey, you're about ready to leave the page. And I think that's kind of cool. Any kind of indicator that you could use to tell the end user, hey, you're about ready to leave or jet this area, I think is a positive. And it's just minimal work too. And so we also have link in line with text. It says, did you know that Live links can have inline with text. So looking down here at the, the example, we see the text component here. Did you know that? And then there's this like, you know, spacing that React injects sometimes. And then we have the link in there. And the href right here is just this pound sign, which means it's not going to go anywhere. We have the color teal, which also shows that you could change colors here. And so you have text, but then a child of that, you could render as a link here. And so you could just have it flow. And so that way you're not having the text be kind of like one style of like font. And then, you know, the hyperlink is kind of weird and takes on its own vibe here. Visually, it just flows, which is nice. But then you could tell that this part is clickable. And I like that about it. And so here we have this uh, routing library that you have here. So it says to use link with a routing library like React or Retrouter. All you need to do is pass the as prop and it'll replace the A tag with the reaches link. So however you're gonna bring in reach or react router, just bring in that link that you need to use. And that material UI, I've had to do this before where I have to do this song and dance of which link do I use, do I rename and all that other you know junk. Here, which I think is super cool is that I could just bring in react router and I could tell the link, hey, Function as the React router link instead, thank you. And it just does that. And I think it's super cool, super useful. And also for general testing navigation and also the um, nesting of your components, I think this is much cleaner. And so we have the props down here, all this good stuff, but let's get to coding because, hey, let's do an example. All right, so let's go and get to making a link. So this is the first example right here. I have this link. It says, order Mr. Beast Burger. I click on it, and it takes me to the Twitter account where it's the uh, Mr. Beast Burger here. But sometimes you do, do not, typically it depends on the strategy, you know, want users bouncing out of your site, right? Because they, they, they leave your site. So how do you just make a pop-up come up it pops up in a new tab. Well, you have is external. So now it opens in a new tab and they could come back in and be at your website right here. And that way they don't get kind of lost because other pages are trying to reel you into with other tabs, clicky things. We've all been there where you try clicking back and it's somehow this website just keeps like 
reloading the home page even though you're like spamming the back arrow so you could just avoid that by making that external there and so this link also looks pretty boring i would say and like everything else in chakra ui you just could come in here and start styling it so let's give it a little pizzazz so you can see this looks a little bit more flashy it gets that link style underline going on right here and it's got that nice little blue to it but there's one other thing i want to talk about and if you were looking at my last video and that was talking about the breadcrumbs sometimes you have other libraries like i think reach router and react router and you you want to use you know that functionality but you still have this link component here and you're like i don't want to waste it right how do you use it well, you would come in here, and however you import it above, you could even rename it. You could do, you know, something like reach link or, you know, um, router link. And so you would come up here and do something that looks like this. So you have, you know, I don't know off the top of my head, say it's just called React router you know there's actually a few things you import for react router that get you to where you need to go but say this is just called react router you could rename it as router link and then you have from whatever the destination is but i would uh, advise you to use this strategy because we have link here but also maybe we weren't using it but maybe there's other components you know, you're working on another team, or I should say, there's other people on your team, and you may have a component called link somewhere else. So you want to be very cognizant of what you name things and how even when you import import stuff here, that maybe you should rename something so React isn't confused about your intentions because that could cause complications that may or may not be easy to find. So naming things is always important. So this is how you use links. I know it's red right here because I'm not, you know, fulfilling the rest of this. But if you like what I'm doing, like, share, subscribe, smash the, you know, all the buttons, tell your friends. And uh, I love doing this stuff for y'all. It's, it's real fun sharing knowledge. So have a good one and see y'all in the next video.